normally be banned from this bracket. Our next match, Joss Marlu, a Roy and Cloud main, not allowed to play either of those characters in this bracket. So he's rocking out with the, he's been playing Toon Link, he's been playing Ike. Now he's out here with the Marth going up against one of Tri-State's finest in Lemon Tea, who actually does get to play his main. So yeah. good on him for that front. Smashville's yeah. the pick. Let's do it, Reggie. Wolf introduced in Brawl, then takes a break in Smash 4. And if you haven't noticed, that platform's moving if you're just tuning in right now. And it's been a staple all night. Most of our Twitch players have been going to Smashville. Just bringing back the unique Starterville. Oh, it's so beautiful and cursed at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> there it goes on its way. I love it, man. Yeah. Not to mention the balloon, which, oh, Joss Marlu did just incidentally pop with that uppy. Yeah. It's actually a wake up up out of shield right there. Accidentally hits the balloon for it as well. Getting the strong side B is Lemon T though for the edge guard. No platform in sight for Joss Marlu to retreat to this time. That is an additional option that we have in this particular bracket that we would not have in a normal bracket of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We now have it here as KK Slider plays us out in yeah. the background. It is Saturday night, baby. Play your jams, KK, play your jams. <laughs> Love it. Not the game, not yeah. yet. And we've seen those, the show flickers from Lemon Tea just trying to get a parry in the corner. And I like the pressure from Josh Marlowe, even though it is not his main, he is making this Marth work. He is, honestly. He's definitely out here showing that I don't that, need my main yeah. to win every bracket. That, that was a wow. round to this. That he was... could have just rolled away and been out of this situation. No. He's not, I'm not resetting neutral here. I have an actual I have an actual way. I have an actual option to take this man's stock right here. Why would I not be doing that? Oh, beautiful stuff. Good, beautiful read right there going for it. Even stocks, it was actually a pretty decent risk on top of that. But Lemon T able to answer back immediately with the Charlie Brown, of course. Ooh, yeah. not even going for it the second time. You want to talk about reads. Yeah, Waiting for the air dodge with the down smash. The great wait is knowing that Josh Marley is going to do a press the button there and just punishes him for it. Ooh, tipper hitbox as well to reset that situation into the forward smash. Oh, and they even better patience in between the hits of the side B. That is Marth 101, especially with the increase in size to the tipper hitboxes. Wait a couple of seconds or wait a wait a couple of milliseconds, whatever, a couple of frames in between the uh, in between the middle hits of Marth's dancing blade. You'll be able to perfectly space yourself a tipper. Yeah, no, you definitely would be. Okay, catching the jump. He has no jump, but make his back to stage, luckily. Tilting him off. Situation reset again. I love Joss Marlu playing patiently right there, knowing he didn't have too much of an option. Instead, electing to regain stage control, make it that much harder for Lemon T to make his way back. Yeah, it's just ops to ledge trap him in these situations. Grab Lemon T at 61%. Needs to make something happen. Back throw, I think, will kill from here. And yes, it does. Nice. Smashville's got some pretty low horizontal blast zones for sure. Wolf's kill throw back throw is going to do it. That's something he didn't have back in Brawl. We were talking about what Wolf had in Brawl. Yeah. Thundercats not getting the tipper. That would have absolutely been the game right there. Yeah, that's kind of sad to see right there. But Almaty is at 127. So just one good hit from Marth will do the trick. Mm, I love that. I love it. 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 That down air was so good. So good. He kept shield pressure on by spacing a down air away from him. And not only was he able to keep the shield pressure on and bait Joss Marlu into dropping shield for the forward smash. Look at this. He drifts away with the down air to make sure he can't get punished with an F tilt out of shield. Put himself deliberately out of range of Wolf's fastest out of shield option for him to be able to punish uh, Joss Marlu right there. And he knows he's Marth, baby, so he would have been able to outrange him instead with that long disjoint forward air. One of the oldest and most patented disjoints in the history of Smash, dating back even before Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I love that play from Joss Marlu, who's going to go up a game against Lemon T right here. Beautiful yeah, stuff. They, now they just opt to run it back. Just falling out of the side B, so he doesn't get the full damage. I believe that does like 16. So... That, that's just some decent damage right there that he just doesn't get to have. And Wolf just doing his bread and butters. He hits hard. 28% off two hits. Looking pretty good so far. Bread and butters. Bread and bread and breakfast? 
I, I'm sure. I'm sure I can see one in the background in Smashville right here. Bed Bath and Beyond, man. <laughs> bed, I don't see. I don't see a Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't think Smashville's got the budget for that yet, unfortunately. It's coming to us soon. It, it's coming soon. 2020. It, it, it's a town and city thing. <laughs> <laughs> that that would be more likely of a place to have it. Town and city, though, not in this bracket. Of course, this is the brawl. This is the brawl stageless. Of course, town and city did not make its way into the game until Smash Four was a new stage then. Lemon T whipping his punish on the uppy out of shield right there. That's that's kind of crucial. You need to take advantage of moments like that. Yeah, no, you definitely need to. And Lemon T just opts to play it a bit more patient now. As, he, as I say that, and he jumps in. Because Josh Brawl hasn't had a real answer to the laser. No. Other than like jump over it, but he's not even gaining a lot of space from it. He's just double jumping over it. In place. You know, I know this tournament is supposed to be like sort of a reminiscent love letter to Brawl, but that mm -hmm. actually kind of reminds me a little bit more of Melee. Kind of makes me think about the Falco, the Falco Marth matchup in that game, because you're looking at Wolf like throughout these transcendent projectiles Ooh. as that North Smash takes the stock, and you're saying, you know, Joss Marlu's not being able to do too much about that. Well, if Wolf uses that right, it's a little hard for Marth to deal with that because he doesn't got any projectiles. Bread and butter, you know, it's like. Yes, see right there. He just sort of has to jump in the air to avoid it and respect that. He could hold shield. Not going to be able to punish that either as the zoning tool that that is. Depending on the distance, Joss Marlu kind of just has to respect that laser, my friend. Yeah, no, he definitely does. Oh, no. Oh, the... That's that a Marth. That's a Marth player. He waited. All right. Oh, reverse near. That was pretty... That was cute. That was a pretty cute option right there. Like, I'm going to throw out this quick hitbox, turn it around, make sure you go in the opposite direction. Kind of sexy. Kind of schmexy. No, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Why is... <laughs> don't, don't. don't. <laughs> no, it was miles. All right. Josh Marley uh, taking the stock right there. <laughs> yes, beautiful stuff, Josh Marley. And I like the, I like the no. sharking situation. The juggles looking like a circus act. Trying to go off stage to hit Lemon T, but misses... This is it just doesn't go far enough. Yeah, it's funny. You would think that those like you would think that sharking would be a little bit more of a difficult thing to do, specifically in this bracket because the platform moves. But like, yeah, it's so much. Yeah, the He's platform isn't range. always there. So at that moment, it was more FD like, and Marth does cover a good amount of things. I've seen him in melee. <laughs> Yeah, no platforms to come back down on the way down. Marth's got a lot of range. He, Marth is a character as that up smash takes the stock. Marth is a character that just rewards good fundamentals. He just does. Like, he just has, like, so much of what a base, like, what a cast smash character, like, needs at a basic level. And he rewards that because there is just... He, he, re he represents so much of, like, what makes the game what it is. There are so many times where he can swing, times when he can't, and he really forces you to pick and choose when you can. And, like, he really forces you to pick and choose your moments because there are times where he can and times when he can't, if that makes any sense. Some characters yeah, I... just have ways to mash in your face, and Marf just has to pick and choose when he can do that. Not every character... I, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. He, reward, he really rewards good fundamentals in that way. Like, he plays Smash at just such a basic level, and Lemon T plays one, at least in that game, at a higher one. Is that forward yeah. Smash is going to be able to take the, uh, take the game? Hit him with a one-inch punch. <laughs> Never thought of it like that, but it does yeah. kind of look like it. Let's take a look at it again. Oh, this, is, so. clean. this is clean. Oh! Yeah. Catch this tomahawk. He's got his soul. He I'm did gonna... the little empty hop to bait, make him think he was gonna go for it the other way. Mm-hmm. So it was a beautiful bait by Lemon T. Yeah. And Again. another one right there. That's how he took the first stop. Yeah. One punches on the part of Lemon T were beautiful throughout this game. Right here, this is how Lemon yeah. T died. Uppy out of shield. Mark classic. You know it can't be pressing buttons too close to him when you are at that high percent. And right here was an... Oh, no, that was the up smash. Never mind. I was yeah. thinking of a different game. The up smash. Mistake. Yeah, just got spacing moves correctly. And mm -hmm. we're going to look at it one more time. F throw. The bait. Ugh. To the punch. Looking like a Kano fatality right there. Right through yeah. the heart. Just... Finish him. Oh. Finish him. Beautiful Fate stuff. Fatality. 
my voice isn't Ooh. raspy enough right now. I gotta cough a little more. Let me let me drink some more water, Devin. Let me see. Wait. <laughs> Fatality. Yeah. All right. Oh so. Barth again. Uh, no character switches. Yeah, but are we gonna see a stage switch? Let's find out. Probably. I mean, he left the arena. So no. yeah, battlefield. We got, we're one apiece, so this is the final game. Oh, he's got the corn. It's Cornerius playing. Lemon T's got the power up. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a pop. Loki. Oh, for oh, oh, the Loki? Loki. Loki? What are you talking Low. At least mid key. Mm, well. Right, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Battlefield <laughs> is the pick. Uh, and I gotta ask, why do you think uh, why do you think Josh Marlu decided to go here of all stages? How do you so, think it benefits Marth? So I think Marth is able to use the platforms to his man. So let's say if he were to juggle Lemon T as he was as he did really soundly before, Lemon would be forced to just land on a platform in like a lot of these situations and up tilt covers a lot of range of that platform and you're able to combo out of it. It just looks really good for Marth on paper. Yeah, baby. I mean, you know, those up tilts through the platforms, Marth's been doing that for Marth has been doing that for literally twenty years. Yeah. Okay. They say this. It ain't nothing new. Come on now. Platforms against Marth. You know that sword's gonna be swinging through them with those up tilts, up smashes, forward smashes. You know the drill. Creates a no fly zone for Lemon T. And speaking of no fly zones for Lemon T, putting out a hitbox to intercept that wolf flash on the way back. Gonna do it for Lemon T's first stock. First one going to Joss Marlu, Reggie. Yeah. First one. But it's not the last one. That's what matters in this game. Mm hmm. Okay, dash attack, not sealing that stock. And Jarge Marlow just trying to look for more percent. And oh, see, right there, he almost landed onto the platform. And Josh Marlow was right there to start and catching him with the air to air. I mean, T trying to figure out how to get out of this corner. Josh Marlow just giving him the chance back, and the dash attack just now reverses the situation. That was really good patience from Lemon T to not just immediately dash attack out of the corner right there as that up smash takes the stock. That was beautiful. He, that was just that was just really just classic smash fundamentals at its best right there. Lemon T recognized he was a disadvantage, was caught in the corner, did not want to immediately do an option because he recognized that Josh Marlu had uh, Josh Marlu had stage control. So he was just empty hopping around and just waited for him to commit to one little thing before he did the dash attack. Playing footsies, playing neutral, playing fundies. Yeah. That's Lemon T for you, you know? It's the Lemon T special. The lemon tea special. Sounds, sounds like, like something. You, sounds like something you get at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the lemon tea special? Bad day. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little bit of a kick to it, though. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Let's see what I did there. Uh, yeah. I saw. I saw. I saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The lemon tuna's comedy special. Mm -hmm. Battlefield, though. Where yeah, we're at. Even game. Even game. Two stocks apiece. Both players just really just swinging. Just doing a lot of dash packs, trying to bait the other one to do a move so they can overextend. Oh, the oh, re -grab. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, a yeah, lot of players do like to roll after they re grab ledge. Good job for Josh Marlowe not to fall for that trap. Yeah, that was actually really smart of Lemon T to go for that because it kind of makes sense, don't you think? You go for yes. a re grab, you're vulnerable at the ledge. You would think that, oh, like this person's going to be swinging around the ledge area anyway. So if I do a neutral get up, he's still going to catch me. And as a result, they would want to roll instead, which is why Lemon T positioned himself for that. And Josh Marlu didn't fall for that. That's really smart. That's another thing I would have fallen for for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, a lot of people would have fallen for it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. And. Lemon T catching on to these jumps a lot. Josh Marlu does like to jump out of disadvantage or in situations like that to burn the invincibility, and he just knew. This is that's a game three scouting report right there. Yeah, for sure. That is definitely like, okay, I got a little bit of a download on you right now. Game three, ladies and gentlemen. But Lemon T is down just a couple more percent. He will be at relatively close kill percent if he doesn't have anything to say about it. We are at a dead even game, folks. And this is back to best of three territory. So you, these guys got to be careful, man. One more, and they will be out of this bracket at, I believe, seventh place. Yeah, I believe you are correct with that. And winner faces Kraftis, if I am oh, correct. Boy. So. Oh, no. No jump. No, he makes it back. Will side B. Pretty good move. Oh, oh, for sure. Getting himself out of the corner, but he's covering the And yeah, he caught the jump. So well. It's just like you said, Reggie. Covering those platforms with the tilts. Yeah. 
That's why you play Marathon Battlefield, man. It's dangerous. Danger, danger, dangerous. Kind of makes me think of what Lemon Tea banned instead. You know, probably Lilat and Yoshi's Island, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Brawl, ladies and gentlemen. Swinging for the fences. And that was Get some great coverage. He just needs to react to the jump in that situation. Mm. Yeah, that's all he could have done. And it's it was all it was already rough to like you know react to that in the first place because he was already high, which is a bad position to be in yeah. in the first place in Smash. So he just caught Lemon T with his pants down in a place that he did not want to be, ladies and gentlemen. 